Welcome to Mastering the News. This is Naveen Ahmed. First, the headlines. At least four female IMG workers died as train hits a minibus. Top committees have been formed. Journalists expressed renewed hope for justice in Shagar Rooney murder investigation. Malaysia Flight 370 probe finds scant evidence of terror attacks. Jurisdictional uncertainty clouds the investigation. Those were the headlines, now the details. At least four people were killed and ten others were injured when a train crashed into a minibus carrying garment factory workers in Chittagong's Chatgao. Police officials said the accident occurred at 8.10 a.m. Tuesday at a level crossing near the Janali Hat railway station. Reports say that the bus on its way to Kalurghat was trying to clear the level crossing when it was hit by the Chittagong bound train. The four workers died on the spot. The bus was said to have been carrying workers of base textile situated in the Kalurghat industrial area. The minibus driver is reported to have been arrested. A divisional probe committee has been set up by the railway's East Zone authorities. Journalist couple Shagur Rooney's colleagues and friends have renewed their hope following high court intervention that the mystery behind the brutal killing will be uncovered and perpetrators will be identified. Every month since the murder of Shagur Sarwar and Mehru Rooney, Mashranga officials and staff have been holding demonstrations and human chains in front of the Mashranga TV center at Bonani. More than two years into the murder and yet no visible progress have been made into the investigation. The murder investigation has shifted hands a number of times and carried over to several government agencies in the past two years. And now it is under the jurisdiction of the lab. The High Court has fixed March 15 for pronouncing the verdict on the contempt of court rule against Pothamalo. The High Court bench of Justice Naima Haidar and Justice Zafar Ahmed fixed the date after concluding the hearing on Tuesday afternoon. Pothamalo editor Motir Rahman said Pothamalo has not undermined the judiciary and will not even do it. Though the column is the opinion of its writer, but the editor also has liabilities for the piece. The editor in charge added. Mizanu Rahman Khan, joint editor of the popular Bangla Daily, said it was not the intention of the column to undermine the court. Mizanu Rahman Khan also expressed his apology to the High Court. Advocate Dr. Shadin Malik represented Prothomalo. European Buyers Forum, committed to the goal of safe and sustainable RMG sector in Bangladesh Accord, has identified problems and numerous lapses in the first phase of survey carried out in order to improve garments industries. Accord's executive director made the disclosure at a press briefing in the capital on Tuesday. He said that his team has detected structural problems at all 10 RMG factories that were being surveyed. He also stressed that due to insufficient fire exit doors, workers remain at risk. Mechanical and electrical faults were found in the emergency fire alarm, he said. Officials also said that the factories continued to have been exposed to electrical hazards as many cables were seen hanging across the plants, as opposed to normal safety procedures. The report, however, said that the factories have taken steps to address the problems. The European Buyers Alliance, Accord, said that by t August 2014, it plans to inspect at least 1,500 factories in the country. Every month, 250 RMG units will be under scrutiny. Meanwhile, Commerce Minister Tofail Ahmed has emphasized that the government is opposed to sudden closure of garment factories under the pretext of safety conditions. He expressed his fear that any abrupt government move to shut factories could trigger social and political unrest with apparent repercussions. He made the remarks after holding a meeting with officials and workers over RMG factories' social compliance at the Secretariat. Commerce Minister said the government needs foreign assistances and technical help, but this must not result in conspiracies. He warned that concerned people should remain alert in this regard. Tofail Ahmed also alleged that the foreign missions in Bangladesh often raise questions against the government without verifying facts and figures. One GSP facilities, Tofail said, Steps were taken to appoint 200 factory inspectors and a database will be created by the end of this month. He said that development partners should give more time to fulfill the remaining conditions. Now international news. 
Investigators in Malaysia are forcing skepticism that the Flight 370 disappeared early on Saturday, was the target of an attack. U.S. and European government sources close to the probe said the fate of the Malaysian airline hour into a flight to Beijing remained a mystery as a massive air and sea search now in its fourth day. Neither Malaysian investigating authorities nor intelligence agencies in the U.S. and Europe have ruled out the possibility that militants may have been involved in downing Malaysia Airlines flight. But Malaysian officials have indicated that the evidence so far does not strongly back an attack as a cause for the aircraft's disappearance and that mechanical or pilot problems could have been led to the apparent crash, the U.S. sources said. International air accident investigators are effectively on standby as they wait to learn what country will end up in charge of the high-profile probe of the disappearance of Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. Until a formal decision is made about who will take the lead, safety experts say they believe it is virtually impossible to launch a full-bore investigation. With no debris found so far, everyone is cautious about prematurely jumping to conclusions, said an airline's industry consultant. In the interim, however, experts said the uncertainty is bound to delay and complicate moves to find answers. Until the location of the wreckage is clearly established, jurisdictional questions will fester and cloud investigative efforts, said a former top official of the U.S. National Transportation Safety Board. Officials said at this point, the Before we end the news, the headlines once again. At least four female RMG workers died as train hits a minibus. Four committees have been formed. Journalists expressed renewed hope for justice in Shagoruni murder investigation. Malaysia Flight 370 probe finds scant evidence of terror attacks. Jurisdictional uncertainty caused investigation. That's all for now. The next bulletin will be in Bangla at 6 evening. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.